So from the outside looking in, you might think you know what it's like, but you have no idea. If at your job you got spit on, or you were walking down the hall and got hit in the head with a can of soda, a place where physical and verbal abuse were a common day event, or where your boss expected you to work extra hours without any compensation of any sort, a job where you have to do a business presentation six times in a row and either your audience won't shut up, doesn't pay attention, or constantly interrupts you with questions that have nothing to do with your presentation. After giving that presentation six times in a row, you have to have data prepared to go to a parent conference and explain to the parents why their offspring is not performing the way they should and what they could do to help their offspring to do better. Then you have to prepare to get all the material ready for the next day's presentation. Then you go home and you're so mentally and physically exhausted you can't properly interact with your family. If that's your job, you're probably a school teacher. Now that's not an everyday event. Sometimes things even get worse. Sometimes there's altercations, fights, and disruptive students. Sometimes there's disruption, fire alarms, other meetings that occur during the day. Sometimes you have to fill out IEP 504 forms and other administrative things. And if you need support and you need somebody to come into that classroom because you have a problem, if you need one of the administrators or a police officer, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, you expect to have that support quickly, it's not going to happen. Not in my experience. And I've done the same job for 36 years at the same school. Matter of fact, I can read this to you here. Uh, one of the concerns from the Vacuoli Advisory Committee there is a significant delay in responses when a dean or administrator are called to assist in a room. There are many instances where they are being called three or four times before anyone actually responds. That was this year. And that's consistent, like I said, over the past 36 years. So that is a huge problem. That's what school teachers deal with almost every day for 180 days a year. And on your way home, you pray that you can make it through the next day, the next week, and hopefully you can get to the next break. And if you've been a teacher for two or three years, you understand what I'm talking about. And I haven't even gone into salaries, compensation, or really the working environment. Because if you're a teacher, you know that you need to constantly supervise those students. You can't walk out to go to the bathroom. You're not going to go out to lunch. And the salary? Well, the salary to start with in the state of Florida, well, they raised the starting teacher salary, but they didn't raise any of the other teacher salaries. When you start as a teacher, the salary may not be too bad, might be comparable. But as time goes on, if you look at what you're going to get paid 10 years from now, you're better off probably doing something else. So if you're thinking about becoming a teacher, I highly recommend that you do some research on what's occurring today and what the future will look like.